Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope today. Coming to you from outside my first springtime channeling, you're gonna hear some wind. You just are. So if that bothers you, take your AirPods out. Maybe don't listen to this one. We're gonna have a conversation with Robin Williams from The Afterlife. We've channeled Robin before, but it's been a few years since we have. In fact, I was sitting in my studio space and I was contemplating, after I did a couple of other vlogging videos for Fairy Grasshopper channel, I was contemplating whom I shall channel today because I felt like channeling, I feel like channeling. And I thought, well, let's be surprised. Let's kind of see who comes forward. And I kept feeling masculine and I kept feeling Robin Williams energy. There's a few others too, I can feel, but I thought it's been a while since we've channeled Robin, so let's have a conversation together, shall we? He says, I'll talk with you, Bridget, I'll talk with you. I am planning a trip to Disney World, and you know that when I think of Robin Williams, and I think of you, I think in part of Aladdin, the genie in Aladdin. You will always be in my heart, live in my heart as the genie from Aladdin because you are hilarious and fun and imaginative. And I, I will always think of you that way. And now I know you've had so many other incredible accolades as far as your acting career, you know, Dead Poets Society and Goodwill Hunting. And just, there's so many, there's so many, you know, and movies and television and all that. And, and so I really respect your broad range of skill sets and your comedy and all that. And then I, now I see Billy Crystal. I see an image of Billy Crystal popping in, like an image of Billy Crystal, I'm not sure. I, I don't recall off the top of my head if Robin Williams and Billy Crystal were friends, but it feels like it. It feels like there's a connection there. And I, I just, I, it's easy to feel your energy in a lighthearted, loving and gentle way because that's how I feel you actually are as a person or were as a person and as a spirit, you have all these different, um, facets. So can you talk to us a little bit about what we can do as people to keep ourselves kind of on course? Can you talk to us, Robin Williams from the afterlife, about keeping ourselves on course, on path? Because there's so much going on energetically and we don't want to get, we get bumped around and knocked around a lot. And I know that you've had a lot of experience with that in a human life. And so in the afterlife, I'm curious about that. Give us some advice about how to stay the course. He says, oh, you get right into it. Very serious, quite serious, Bridget, quite serious. And he looks like a professor, like he's like rubbing his chin and he's like, quite serious, quite serious. I, I have to, I have to, you know, really, I have to consider this quite, quite deeply. It's like philosophically, he feels like. I wasn't actually expecting that, as you know. No, 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 I know. And he's very calm right now. He's very mellow. He's not doing his big personality thing, which is great. It's easy to connect with you as an afterlife spirit when you're mellow. <laughs> Just say mellow. He says, yes. He says, it's important to not compare yourself. He's saying not compare yourself. Comparison is what will take you off your course as you say he says as you say it will it will knock you out every time as soon as you start to look at what you have what you've done versus what you think you should have done what your parents tell you like when you were you know five what you're what you should do and what you could accomplish in the world versus what you have at this point it can really just he says it can just throw you off he says it can knock you out and he says additionally you compare yourself to, he says, it's not as much others. He says, it's really not about others. He said, it's more the internal, he's saying, it's more the internal comparison that you make. It's in your own mind. Your mind is what, is what, um, he's, not, he's not saying sabotages you. He's saying your mind is what is messing things up. It's not what you think it is. He says, it's not other people. It's not circumstances that mess you up. It's you that messes you up, he says, in the mind. He said, all, everybody's minds, all minds are messed up. They're all screwed up. The mind is just all screwed up. It's like a puzzle up there, he says. It's like a puzzle. You're never going to figure it out, he says, so, so don't waste your energy. <laughs> He's like, don't waste your energy, he says. Advice, though. Come on, Robin. I need some advice here. 
It's like, did I just told you what to avoid. I told you I gave you like the nuggets of wisdom, the gem of knowledge I gave you, he says, the gem of knowledge. And I literally feel like we're in the movie Aladdin. We're standing at the, that cave where there's all the treasure inside and you have to pass and you have to be like this pure person to pass and stuff. And he says, you know, the obstacles and the thing, and he's showing me Jumanji. Yeah, he's showing me Jumanji. He's like all these obstacles and things that you are, all these tests and things. He says, it's your mind that's creating that. He's like, it's the brain. It's the mind. He says, just check the box and move on. Check the box and keep going. He says, courage isn't something that, that you save for a rainy day. He's saying courage is something you live day after day after day after day. And for some people, courage is just getting out of bed. So for some people, courage is taking a shower one day. He's like, it looks different all the time. It's never the same. You are not the same, ever the same. You can't expect yourself to be how you were yesterday or how you were five years ago or how you were 20 years ago. You're different. He's like, you are different. You're dealing with a different thing. You gotta just wake up in the morning and face the day as it's new. It is new. And he says, a new, a new, a new, A-N-E-W, a new. It's a new, always. You are always a new. Which kind of leads into, he says, forgiveness. He mentions the word forgiveness and he goes, do you want me to go deep? Do you want me to go deep? Do you want to, should we go to that point? And he's kind of like, he looks like a Muhammad Ali. It's like kind of going to box like, it's kind of like that's, should we go there? Should we go deep? Should we go deep? Should we throw some punches on the forgiveness part? He says, forgiveness isn't outside you. It's not something that, that, that you uh, create an experience of, or it's not something you schedule on your calendar. It's not like having a dinner with someone, meeting for this, and this is what's gonna happen. It's not like a business meeting. Forgiveness is not like a business meeting. It's not like this arrangement. It's not that. It's not that, it's freedom. And in pure, pure, simple terms, he says, forgiveness is freedom. It's freedom. And he shows me like water and flowing water and like being in a boat and just flowing. He's like, stop thinking of your path as something to walk on. Whoa, that's a good one. That is really good. He says, think about it as a river, a stream. Sometimes there's rough spots. Sometimes there's just pools where you kind of just float. He's like, think of your path your life, if you're going to think about it as path, if we're going to use that metaphor, he says, if we're going to use that metaphor, don't think of it as walking, as your feet are moving you. Think of it as you're being carried, you're floating on the boat down the river. He's like, you're floating on the boat. And then he tells me, like he's telling me, <laughs> he's like, like the Pirates of the Caribbean, the Pirates of the Caribbean, however you say it, Caribbean, Caribbean, like at Disney. <laughs> He's telling me that, like that. I'm like, no, that's like, you know, um, that's, he's like, isn't life kind of like that sometimes? Yes, it is kind of like that, yes. And then other times it's like, Navi River Journey or It's a Small World Boat, okay? <laughs> it's a small world, more my pace right now, much more my pace right now, because it is indeed a small world, especially with the spread of, of all sorts of things right now. There, things are easily spread. And so, yes, very much like an it's a small world ride right now. Lots of gold in that ride, by the way, that connects with the crown chakra, which uh, interesting. He actually literally shows me what I see, you guys, when I work with people sometimes. I'm doing healing stuff. Like, I'm just noticing what's going on in there their grid as they're just talking to me on the phone and I'm like mm, what's this this the golden circle I'll oftentimes see this thing above the crown chakra which is right here and it's the golden circle And when I say see it I mean in the mind's eye or with the third eye that's a psychic gift it's called clairvoyance a lot of people can vision a lot of people can see it's not that uncommon but it's that uh, primary tool I use in my work is clairvoyance so see psychic sight so I will see like a golden circle, like a ring around their head. And whether or not it's moving or vibrating or if it's like, like acting like a receiver and drawing things in like a magnet or if it's like kind of broadcasting things out, I can kind of tell what's up, you know, with their mind and where their blocks are. If it's like their old pattern about religion or their old pattern about my grandma said this was evil or if it's this, my dad told me that I was going to be a scientist because I was so smart and now he, I'm not. 
I do something totally different? Am I a disappointment? I mean, all these things, there's so many things that could potentially be there in resistance form, but I can see if I see this golden circle, oftentimes that's like an image for me of golden healer. Activate the golden healer or the golden ring. And it's this pass through point. It's like a choice, a portal or a choice point. It's part of discernment. And he's literally showing it to me. He's like, how you perceive things, how you receive things. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. So seeing our path, like walking down the path or floating down the path, how do you see things? Do you think you have to do everything? Are you the walker on the path? Are you this big, you got to make the trek kind of person? And to be honest, you guys, me, that's how I am. I've always been like that. Go, go, go. Come on. I can do it. You can do it. We can do it. La, la, la. Maybe now is the time to everybody get in the boat the boat of the it's a small world boat and not an intense boat not a harsh journey not a rough waters but coming into common harmony with this energy of like others who are soulfully connected with us or our spiritual helpers not just other random strangers but our spiritual team like our angels and our our spirit guides and maybe some famous people that we really connect with and inspire us and we they're playing the music they're providing the soundtrack while we're just tooling down floating down the river you know and maybe that is the image and the metaphor that we need now maybe that's exactly what robin williams is giving us you see you are like, okay, so Robin does have this very philosophical view and he's such a great teacher. He's super duper mentoring. That sounds so funny. He's a super duper mentor, <laughs> but he is, he is. He's not just a funny man. He's not just a comedian. He's not just this tragic story of, of loss of life. He is transcended. He is spirit. This is a perfect lesson and message for you today. Perfect message. For you i mean isn't it he's saying quite right quite right <laughs> oh robin i just love your energy is so sweet he's got just a plain white t-shirt on and he's like do i need some color like tie-dye do i need some color and then i literally see some kind of blue splotches kind of blue paint kind of splatters and that blue is the energy of water the energy of the water element which is connected to emotion and helps with flow. It's like the universe supporting us, the natural way of our, of our being. And it fits because Robin is such a empath. He is such a clairsentient being. If you don't know what empath means, uh, look it up, Google it. There's tons of information about it. It means you're sensitive, you sense and feel energy, your own and other people's, and sometimes get confused about what's yours, what's not yours. In fact, most of the stuff that you're feeling that's intense, that's stressing you out and making you anxious or depressed is not yours. So that's where the freedom of flow and the freedom of forgiveness comes into place. He says, empaths are the ones. My friends, my friends, he says. My friends, my friends. Empaths are the ones that need the forgiveness most. Not from others. It is not something you pass somebody like a gift. He's like, it's something that you release and find relief because of the flow of forgiveness. So forgiveness is connected to the water element. He says to the air as well, Bridget. He says the air. Do you hear the wind? You may or may not hear the wind in this audio. The air element. He's like, it helps to clear things out. It moves things from one place to another. Okay, sometimes unexpectedly, sometimes abruptly, but sometimes very gently and, and comes with a relaxed energy. This is also the pattern of forgiveness and freedom of forgiveness. So it can be the air element for some people. They'll love the air. They'll love the air. So forgiveness comes through freedom, comes through the water element, comes through the air element. It's not something hard. You don't have to prove your worth. You don't have to lift 50 weights, chop wood and carry water and uphill five times in the snow. I mean, it's, it's, there's no testing. There's no testing that only comes from the mind. That's not a soul thing. That's not a spirit thing. There's no need to prove value or worthiness because you just are, you are valued.
and each are creative space. He's literally showing me different paints now. He literally looks like he's like a painter, like he's got this, like a white painter's uniform on. And there's like this blue spot, spots, and now there's this hot pink spots. And there's this, this color. There's this color, like everybody has their own unique combination of personality, of energy, of of interaction, of, of what you want to gain from life experience, from what you want to experience here. He's like, it's really unique and nobody's gonna ever understand you fully. That's not gonna happen. That's something that the mind will, will tell you that needs to happen. Like you need to belong, people need to get you, people need to understand you, they need to hear your side of the story. And he's saying, that's none of that's true. That's not needed. That's not necessary. That's just hoops to jump through to keep you busy with things that aren't important. And why would the mind, why would the brain help to encourage you to be busy with things that aren't important? Because it wants to save you from being too courageous, too connected to your spirit, because then you're kind of more mysterious and you're unpredictable as far as you're spontaneous and, and the mind doesn't like spontaneity. I'm talking about this in a good way, he says. In, in this creative energy, this co-creative energy and experience and adventure is a good way. Not you have to be brave because it's hard. You get to be brave because you're, you're in unfamiliar territory. You're uncomfortable and it's okay to be uncomfortable. And I personally, you guys, I don't like to be uncomfortable. Yet I'm constantly finding myself constantly uncomfortable and I'm starting to get used to being uncomfortable. <laughs> Comfort was not something we signed up for. That's not why you became a person. Your mind keeps saying, oh, no, 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 stay comfortable. Stay safe. Stay, well, okay. Don't put yourself out there energetically. You already are out there energetically. Because guess what? You're out there with your feels, trying to feel the environment, judge people, prejudge people, examine people, examine energies, examine new job places, examine potential places to go visit all that stuff because you're just checking everything out you're doing that you're getting all sorts of information and then you're overwhelmed before you even get there why because you're already kind of felt it out because you're an empath and that's what happens <laughs> he's like courage creativity freedom it comes through forgiveness he's like don't hold yourself to such rigid formatted terms easily forgive Try not to hold on to the past too much. Allow yourself to move with freedom into the future. He's like, with freedom, be present and just flow right into the future. He's like, just be free and present. Flow right into the future. That is so beautiful. <laughs> that is so beautiful. Robin Williams, ladies and gentlemen, Robin Williams, my friend, Robin Williams in the afterlife. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. He says, anytime, anytime. All right. <laughs> oh, nice energy. Hey, you guys, I hope we've inspired your spirit today, filled you up with some hope, encouraged you to live your life. After all, it is your life. This is your life and it's your job and your choice to live it. So just live it. Just live it. Before you leave, be sure you like this video. Subscribe to the Above Life channel on YouTube. You can check me out on Fairy Grasshopper, my other intuitive channel. That's Fairy Grasshopper. Links are below where to find me on social media, on Facebook and Instagram as well.